A massive thanks to today's video sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community for creatives. Right, so in my recent video, I announced that I just bought this fully forged 1000 brake horsepower R35 Nissan GTR, and in today's video, we're going to do the first drive in it. Look, I know you lot are keen to see today's video, but let's give a quick brief on today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators where millions of people come together to set their next step in their creative journey. Look, I was in a restaurant recently and I see a saying on the wall that says, everybody should have a hobby. And it's so true, man. So if you've got a hobby and you want to try and turn that hobby into a business, well, with Skillshare, you can enhance on the knowledge that you have on that hobby and then maybe make a business out of it. Well, if you look at me as an example, that's exactly what I've done. I enjoyed making videos and I've made a career as a YouTuber by enhancing on my hobby. If you go on Skillshare, type in video editing as an example, you'll be faced with loads of classes from various creators where you'll be able to gain knowledge on that subject. I like this guy here, Ali Abdul. His class consists of 33 lessons. It's just three hours long and I guarantee, don't matter who you are, after watching this, you'll definitely gain knowledge on this subject. And you know what, the list of classes they offer for various subjects is endless. Whether it's graphic design, web development, crafts, or even photography, I guarantee Skillshare have definitely got a class that suits you. It's dead easy to join their community and you can join for as little as seven pound a month. And Skillshare are kindly offering the first 1,000 people that click the link in the description below a free trial for a limited time only. Come on man, it's a no brainer, isn't it? So hit the link in the description below, give it a shot. If it ain't for you, at least you try it. It's all about trying. You've got nothing to lose and you never know, you might find that hobby slowly forming into a business. Let's get on with the video. Yeah, GTR. So I actually daily drove a GTR, as a lot of you will know, uh, for about two years of my life. It was also in Storm White, and that car was four, stage 4.25, running 660 brake horsepower. That was a proper quick car. I was genuinely shocked how fast that car was. When I drove this car, it's a different league, man. It is like night and day different. Uh, obviously, the extent that's gone to, to or the, the amount of money that's needed to spend on this car to get it to the level of power that it's at is a huge number, but um <laughs> it's all worth it trust me the thing's bloody crazy so it's a uh, storm white i think i mentioned that in the previous video it's probably my favorite color of all the gtrs i do really like the orange color on the later cars uh, but that obviously wasn't available on the earlier cars so it's a pretty facelift car uh what else was i gonna say well there's some flies like it a lot of flying objects in today's video isn't there yeah, I don't know why that is, but um, visually not a lot's been done to it at all. It's got this uh, big carbon fibre or part carbon fibre rear spoiler. SVM Motorsport, 7 Valley Motorsport exhaust system with some fat tail tips. They look quite cool. And uh, yeah, the juicy bits or the bits, the exciting bits even. Forged engine under the bonnet, forged gearbox. All right, so 1,000 brake horsepower. Let's jump in and hit the road. See, now the strange thing is when you start this car, it sounds surprisingly calm, right? And I think that's the thing that shocks me the most about this car, is it feels, if I was to compare it, or use a word to compare it over my old GTR, is, is it feels more refined. Something I didn't say is uh, this has done 30,000 miles. It's an absolutely fresh car. My car had done, I think, about 50,000 miles. And my car was stunning, don't get me wrong. Absolutely beautiful car, but this car is definitely in better condition. It's a black edition car. It's got heated seats, sat nav, not that you'd use any of that stuff, uh, but it's nice it's got all them bits. And it's had this uh, retrim steering wheel, which initially I didn't like. Uh, I'll explain why I like that on the drive in a sec. All right, so let's um, seat belt on. Stick it in drive and hit the roads. Uh, <laughs> loads more like new sounds. So that's one thing I, I noticed immediately when I first drove this car. Uh, like the turbo sort of spool up and they make a different slide. 
slightly different sound. Uh, the throttle response on a GTR, on any tuned GTR, is unbelievable. But the difference is with this car is the power just continues. So it's like the difference between 20% throttle and 50% is absolutely bonkers, man. <laughs> uh, so you get like a little hiss from the turbos as well as you let off. <laughs> like a <ooh. laughs> You are literally hanging on all the while, and that's why I mentioned this steering wheel. At first, I didn't really like the steering wheel, but it's made with like some big chunky thumb prints in it uh, to, I suppose, to hang on when you're booting it down the road. As you get up into higher speeds, you'll notice the gearbox almost makes like a whining noise, like a bloody race car. My face is cringing. If it is, um, there's, I've got every reason. Uh, to justify that, I think. We'll slow down now, we'll go through a calm village. Now, understand that the roads are not, this car is not made for the roads. This car is to race in straight lines. I haven't bought it for that reason. Let me make one thing very, very clear. That my motive for buying nearly every, literally every car that I buy is to earn money. I buy cars to flip them. I'm a car trader. That is my main motive with everything I buy. If I can't, if I don't feel like I can earn money out of something, I won't buy it. Obviously, when I get offered exciting cars like this, there is a motive for content. But if there was no possibility that I, I would earn any money, I wouldn't buy the car, right? So my main motive for buying this car is it's a bit of stock. At the minute, I would, I would sort of daily drive it, I suppose. I'll get great use out of it. I'll do a bit of content on it. But it will just go straight up for sale because it's what I do, isn't it? Hear that? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> love it. I love all the noise it makes. And strangely, the exhaust note, and do you know what? I think every GTR seems to struggle with that. They sound amazing, don't get me wrong. They sound bloody brilliant. But they all sound very much alike. I don't think it matters really what exhaust you put on a GTR. They all just sound really good in the same way. So, now we are on a dry day today. Um, I've, I'll be honest, I've got traction control on. If we put it, put it into R mode, if I really want to do that. We'll do it anyway. Head down this wonderful road. So bloody sketchy. Like your mind is constantly just careful of how that throttle, throttle pedal is placed because you can imagine man. Do I need, really need to cane the arse out of this car to show you how powerful it is? Like, I can honestly say, like, when I initially drove it, the first time I drove it, I expected it to feel a bit quicker than my GTR. Like I said, my GTR was a fast car, proper quick car. I never even had an urge to go any more power in it. One, because the amount of money needed to, to, to get it to that next level. And two, because I actually thought it was proper quick, right? This car, we have about 50% more power. And trust me, you notice every single bit of it. The level of power that this thing has got in every gear throughout every step of the rev range is mental, man. Absolutely mental. It's, um, it's the fastest car I've ever, ever driven. It's the fastest car I've ever been in. It's the craziest car I think I'll ever go in. And <laughs> it is set up just perfect. It's unbelievable how it feels, touch wood, fingers crossed. It feels reliable, it feels solid. Like I said earlier, it feels refined. It feels like it ain't gonna bloody go wrong. It's had all sorts of other stuff that I haven't mentioned in the previous video. It's got absolute, it's had absolutely loads done to it. And uh, the end result is, it's just such a good package of a car. So I think <laughs> I'm gonna leave it as that. By the way, I, I fuel economy, that was something I was kind of, it should be even, it's, should we even mention fuel economy in this video? But I filled the tank up on this car. My GTR done 150 miles on a full tank. This car, I filled up the tank, we've done 80 miles and we're just over half a tank. So. It's looking like it's going to be very similar on fuel than my GTR, which is mad really. And that's a mixture of driving sort of hard and chilled, uh, so it's not completely gunning it all the way, but that ain't bad. It's a 60 litre tank as well, so that's a, I don't know, a question that some people might ask. You could actually daily drive this car, I reckon, stick it in auto mode, chill out. It just, 
It's like the destination of this gearbox is just to get into sixth gear. It goes straight up to sixth. It's calm, it's chilled, and yeah, I reckon it could pull off being a daily driver. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, end it here. I am just gonna head down the slip road a little bit. And have I, have I missed anything? I don't think I've missed anything, have I? Let me know. Let me know what you want to see on this car. Um, something I didn't mention is it's got like an adjustable boost controller. So if you use this right controller here, you can adjust the amount of boost. Right now I'm running at 1.5 bar of boost. You can flick it past 1.5 bar, up to two bar. That's what it was dyno at. So right now I am not running full power. Uh, I don't think it's necessary because it's fucking bonkers as it is. So uh, let me know if there's any more you want to see on this car. There's an M5 there, that'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Competition. <laughs> uh, I think it's a waste of time. Unless it's got a build like what Ricky's has got, uh, that would be a right laugh. But we won't talk about races in a minute. I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, do me a favour, hit that bloody like button. If you are new to my channel, hit subscribe for a new video every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 o'clock. Give me a follow on Instagram as well at Calvin's Car Diary. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, I just bought two cars which are the same but uh, well, they're different really. It all makes sense when the video goes live on Sunday. I'll see you then.